Hello, welcome to the video. Uh, I will now show you how the system works and show you how I built it. Um, so yeah, I'll show you first the little robot that's behind me, the tree robot, and then the power machine, the power factory. So I hope you stick around and uh, let's start with the robot. So, how do we build this little robot? It's pretty simple. Put a chassis, some glue, uh, give him a chest, and uh, put some glue under the chest to put the portable interface. Glue again to give him little arms, and then glue again to give him his hands. So ends. Very cute. Then glue again to give him the back of his hands. It's a very it's a four-handed robot. Very nice. What do we want to put in his hands? Uh, we want to put oak sapling in one and bone meal in the other. Um, and then yeah, you can put uh, like some saplings already in the chest, and that's about it. If you want, you can put a little head, you can choose whichever you want. I think I will choose the observer, because uh, oh, I think it looks funny to go on the other side. <laughs> observer. So yeah, that's how you build this little robot. Kind of cramped here. And yeah, he's ready to go. You just have to put a minecart. And let him go. Don't forget to break this. And put the rails back. So he can go. Oof, ouch. Rude. So yeah, now he he's going back and forth between, between these two rails. Don't forget to put the portable interface. So yeah, that's about it. It's very cute. Now I'll show you how to build the, the infinite flywheel power. It is very powerful because you can power up to 15 crushing wheel with only that flywheel, which is quite amazing. So first step, you will gonna put a convoyable like this, with a chest and a brass funnel. Don't forget to put the brass funnel in, in suck mode. So this will be the output of wood. For now, we are gonna put a creative crate with some wood in it. And it will all put only wood. But here, for the example, you need a filter with the sapling you have, sticks, and an apple if it's a oak sapling. So it filters out and doesn't go into the system. Next, you want to do a convoyable going up. This will go inside the furnace. So there, we put the furnace and a chute for the wood to go in. You have to input the wood from above as it won't go in the right slot. Next, we are going to put the flywheel. That's fairly easy. Put the furnace engine, one block and then the flywheel, and you're set. Okay, next we want to output the coal. For that, it's on the beneath of the furnace. You go with shoots, four blocks down, and then you go behind, and you go back up. This will be the output. You can already put a belt, 
here. You can use undecide funnels for those ones. Next, you want to put a fan here. Going down, that will get all the coal back up from here. The coal will do that and this. We are almost done. All you want to do is power everything with mechanical power. I'm sorry I made a mistake earlier. I put the flywheel here this way. You have to put it the other way. It will be easier to power everything up. There you go. So now all we have to do is power the machine. Use encased chain drives to get the power down a little bit. And use shafts to connect to the belt. And use shafts again to connect to those belts. And here, in case chain drive to connect those two. Now that this is connected, we need to power the fan. For this, it's pretty easy. You can just use a, a chain drive going here from here to here. Then shaft going up and going in a vertical gearbox. So now we are basically done. We just have to put the fuel in to start the machine up and watch it roll. So the wood is going up, it is going in the machine and it's producing coal that is going down the pipe and then up thanks to the fan and it simply goes back in the machine. If we do that it will go back in just as planned and now it can start and it will be infinite. And yeah, that's basically the whole machine. Uh, it's pretty compact, I like it. And uh, I hope you will like it too. Okay, I hope it was clear. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, don't forget to show the support. And uh, thank you for watching, thank you very very much. I'll see you in another video. Bye bye. I wanted to apologize for the sound quality of the video. I just edited it and I don't know why, but uh, my mic is very bad. I promise you, I will buy a new one. That's it. Peace.